Scheherazade by Rimsky-Korsakov has long been a repertoire staple for orchestral percussion, mostly due to its challenging and famous snare drum part. But today, I want to highlight the tambourine part, which is also technically demanding, but less commonly studied or asked on auditions. You have a lot of options as a performer when preparing this part, from instrument choice to position you hold the tambourine. If you're playing this part in the orchestra, your choices may depend on how fast a tempo the conductor chooses, the acoustics of the performance space, or even how your sound blends with the instruments the other percussionists choose to play. If you're playing this in an audition, your choices should be dictated by whatever gives you the cleanest and most consistent performance. Whenever possible, I try to play the tambourine up, around shoulder level, so that the sound projects above the orchestra and out to the audience. I also use a combination of hand-knee technique and two-handed playing when the rhythms and tempo become too quick to play up. For the third movement, I try to produce a light, delicate sound that blends well with the soft snare drum, cymbals, and triangle that also play these passages. Although you may be tempted to rest the tambourine on your knee and use two hands in this situation, I think the sound quality is better when played up and you can still achieve a very quiet dynamic by developing a light touch. For the two forte roughs before rehearsal I, it works for me to use my left hand to play the grace notes, lifting the instrument rhythmically like a pandero player might do. Then I play the main note with my right hand. It takes a little bit of practice to master this, so try a simple exercise to make it consistent. The fourth movement can go pretty fast, so I think it's safest to prepare these entrances with techniques that will work for any tempo. At letter F and letter O, I place the tambourine on my leg and play it with two hands, moving down to the rim when the dynamic drops to pianissimo. At letter K and letter W, I use a hand-knee technique since these sections are louder. I aim to strike near the rim with my hand, exactly opposite from the spot that strikes my knee. For notes marked with a sforzando, I play in the center of the head with my fist to get that characteristic tambourine pop. All the other entrances throughout this movement can be played up with one hand. There are many ways to negotiate this tricky part, so I offer my approach as just one possible solution. The goal should always be to find a technical solution that allows you to perform the music with maximum clarity, consistency, and musicality. So for now, I'll leave you with my performance of the tambourine highlights from the third and fourth movements of Scheherazade.